Hey guys, Ryan Cardi here, back again out in Arizona with my step stepfather and mother uh, with prion disease from taking elk antler velvet spray. Um, I've been to numerous doctors out here. They don't know what to do for me. Um, they scare me because I know more about this stuff than they do because I've been researching it for about a year, year and a half now because of how sick I'm getting from this. Um, I'm at the point now where I've been taking a sodium hypochlorite solution with uh, some pool salt. Um, I've been uh, spraying that all over my body and consuming it. I put uh, two, two uh, teaspoons of unscented concentrated bleach um, into a liter full of water and then uh, pour some uh, sea salt in there until it's a good consistency, not too salty, but enough. Um, and that's just like consuming a strong version of chlorine water with uh, ocean water is all that is. Um, I've also um, just picked up borax and I've been doing the borax thing. Um, you can get that from the store. Uh, I got it from Walmart, 20 mule team. Um, what I do with that is I put it in a, I got a 1.75 liter uh, bottle and I do, um, I use my fingertip probably about two or three times, but it's probably close, close to or equivalent to almost about a, about a teaspoon in a, a liter, 1.75 uh, liters. I guess you could probably do a teaspoon in a liter. Um, I'm just doing it gradually because I don't work my way up. I'm increasing it slowly as they recommended and everything. And what I do with that also is um, drink it slowly throughout the day, but I also put uh, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar in there also um, just to get a, give it a, a little bit of taste. The um, borax has absolutely no taste to it whatsoever. Um, it's a detergent, but it has no taste whatsoever. So, um, you know, I'm still fighting this, and I've had pretty much having to go this route and uh, natural remedy, homeo, naturopathic route myself, and having to discover a whole bunch of different things um, that hopefully I could, uh, God will lead me to find a, a cure to this to this horrible, horrible, evil disease, so I can use that to help so many other people that are suffering, uh, just like me and my family and everything. Um, so uh, that's the update, guys. Uh, I do have a neurologist appointment, but I don't really have much faith in them being able to do much for me. Uh, also, I'm doing the uh, Zurich, Switzerland um, prion autoantibodies um, study. I'm partaking in that, and I have to send, I have to get dr blood drawn and sent out to them, and they have to test for um, the autoantibodies in my blood, extract the cells from it, and everything with that. And That'll give me the actual 100% proof that I have this, and they will eventually see that I do have this, and I was right. Um, the crazy thing that they don't they don't have a blood test for these specific diseases is is just ridiculous to me. Um, I mean, they could easily have a blood test for this, but they choose not to for ethical reasons, they claim, which is a bunch of bullshit. Oh, and by the way, um, with borax, they claim that it's toxic and poison and warning and all that stuff. Well, that was the FDA doing that to prevent people from buying it so they wouldn't continue taking their medications and stuff like that for arthritis and osteoporosis and all that stuff. So um, they actually, the FDA actually find a guy who developed it or whatever, and... Um, they find him um, for selling it real cheap as a uh, remedy for a lot of diseases. And what they did was they slapped warnings on there to scare people so they wouldn't um, take it or consume it and everything. So, um, but you know, Big Pharma will do anything to keep you on their drugs and to, to you know, keep you to go into the doctors so they get the insurance companies to pay for everything and stuff like that. And you know, they get all the money, so. All right, guys, well, um, you know, I'm still fighting this the best I can. Uh, my sleep is still all jacked up really, really bad. Um, um, I'm still having a lot. I'm starting to lose uh, my bowels, uh, lo losing control of my bowels. So, um, you know, that's I'm only 36 years old, and for that to start happening, is just you just know that's pretty, pretty bad, pretty severe. And it's crazy that the internal medicine doctor I went to won't even... Um, refer me to a GI doctor in regards to this as well because it's severely, severely affected my, um, my stomach, my GI tract and everything because that's where the root of, the root of infection uh, uh, began or started was uh, orally ingesting the infectious agent uh, from the elk antler velvet spray. So, oh, uh, one other thing, guys. Um, I do um, triple antibiotic ointment on my lips and now I know it's probably disgusting or whatever, but I do it on my 
my anus or whatever too. Um, I know Dr. Wisniewski, who developed a partial vaccine for CWD and deer and animals, he paints the vaccine on their uh, tonsils and anuses. The reason I do this is because I believe bacitracin or one of the th one of the ingredients in uh, a triple antibiotic has, is derived from lichens, and lichens are known to be able to break down or degrade um, prions. So I've been doing that as well on my lips and on my uh, bottom, my rear end and stuff like that. So um, I'll keep you guys posted, let you know what's happening with me, see if anything really, um, really, really improves. Um, especially I'm looking forward to seeing that Sporax can really help me. So, all right, guys, uh, take care, God bless, and um, look for future posts. Alrighty, see you later.